What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're going to talk about how WrestleMania 34 should end. So as everyone knows, WrestleMania 34 is on Sunday. Very, very exciting. Best time of the year to be a WWE fan. Best time of the year to be a wrestling fan in general, guys. It is just a very, very great time. One thing that I don't think everybody is excited for, of course you have your Roman Reigns fans and your Lesnar fans and everything. I like both guys. I'm not going to tear them both down. I don't like the way that Roman Reigns is pushed uh, very much, but um, you know, it is what it is. It will be a fresh take after WrestleMania to see where they go, but I I have a scenario that I want to pitch to you guys right here. So as you guys know, again, um, the WWE Championship, AJ Styles and Nakamura are not going to main event. It's just not what Vince McMahon wants. It's just not what um, he wants to do. So he's going to put his big dog out there last. It's going to be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. You know, we've been talking about it for a year, and it is going to finally happen at the main event of WrestleMania 34. Everybody thinks that Roman Reigns is going to walk out of this thing champion, and me, myself included. I think, you know, they booked it for a year. That's the way it's going to be. That's the way they want it. So that is how it would be. But what if, just listen to me right here, what if they pulled the trigger on having just this hellacious fight, you know, Brock and Roman go back and forth, Roman can kick out of his 1F5, um, Brock can take uh, Superman punch after Superman punch, a few spears, yada, yada, yada. They go back and forth. Brock finally lands another F5. And he pins Roman 1, 2, 3 in the middle of the ring, retaining the Universal Championship. So the whole crowd is stunned. You know, it's just like last time in New Orleans, WrestleMania 30. Brock Lesnar comes up on top again, defeats Roman Reigns, just like he defeated Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. He's in the middle of the ring. Paul Heyman's going nuts. You know, everything's going. You know, everybody in the crowd is losing their minds. How could Roman Reigns lose? You know, this is what was supposed to be planned. Yada, yada, yada. Huge shocker. Brock Lesnar holds the Universal Championship high as WrestleMania 34 goes off of the network. We come back Monday Night Raw, the last, um, or at the beginning, you know, it's going to start the show. Opening the Monday Night Raw following Mania, you know, the best crowd in the year of WWE is always the WrestleMania or the Raw after Mania crowd. So Brock Lesnar comes down, and he's all by himself. Paul Heyman's not with him. It's just Brock on his own. He mentions his uh, time with Paul Heyman, and he comes out, and he says, Bye, bitches. I'm going to UFC. See you later. And he just drops the title. He just drops the Universal Championship right in the center of the ring and just walks off. And we don't see him for whoever knows how long. He literally just goes straight to UFC. You know, he mentions Dana White. He's like, I've already got Dana White um, in contact. I've already signed my contract. I am out. See you later. Drops the title middle of the ring and his music hits and he is done. And he just leaves the title there. When we come back... You know, Kurt Angle, or whoever the new GM is, whatever it is, um, I don't know if they're going to switch that yet. He comes out, and he could be, like, you know, freaking out. You know, Kurt Angle lost his Universal Champion. What is he supposed to do? Yada, yada, yada. He finally says, you know what, I'm going to make an announcement at the end of the show. He comes out into the show with the Universal Championship, and he mentions that there is going to be a new tournament. So they're going to host a new Universal Championship tournament, and they are going to have, you know, I guess they could do eight, they could do 16, whatever they want to do, as big as they want to do it. But going into this new draft era, where we're going to have a new draft, I think it would be a perfect time to crown a new champion. You don't have to go Roman Reigns. That I mean, you could have Roman win the tournament if you wanted to. Um, but this is what I would have do. You take all of your new draftees, your new NXT call-ups, anybody that came over from SmackDown, your remaining guys on Raw, you put them all into a tournament and you go all the way up until um, whatever pay-per-view you want, you want to do it and you book it to crown your new Universal Championship. And that is how I would book my WrestleMania 34 main event. Um, I know it's not going to happen, but it's just a thought I had today. I thought it would be a cool idea and video for you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this idea. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Again, NXT TakeOver tomorrow night, WrestleMania 34 on Sunday. If this happens, you know, I am just a genius. It won't happen, but you know. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.